فيا سائلا عن منهج الحق يبتغي سلوك طريق القوم حقا ويسعد تأمل هداك الله ما قد نظمته تأمل من قد كان للحق يقصد الإسلام استبلش برذهود في الرجل الله سبحانه وتعالى سيز في القرآن إنما المؤمنون إخوة فأصلحوا بين أخويكم دي the believers are brothers the believers are brothers so make reconciliation between your brothers so alhamdulillah in this verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established that in Islam the believers are brothers in Islam the believers are brothers so it is important for us to keep brotherhood between <coughs> to keep brotherhood between the Muslims because this is what we are we are brothers so and when that brotherhood is shook and there's a problem within the brothers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says make reconciliation between your brothers make reconciliation between your brothers and fear Allah so that you may receive mercy fear Allah so that you may receive mercy so that's one ayah which indicates brotherhood in Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and hold firm to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together and the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Quran the Sunnah ala fahm salaf Quran the kitab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Sunnah the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam upon the understanding of the Salaf how they received it from the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that is what Habullah means وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا and do not be divided and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam during their time they used to fight and kill one another based on tribalism they used to uh, يعني, rage wars between one another that my tribe is better, his tribe is stronger, we have this, we have that and they used to fight one another because of those things so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding them he says remember the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you were enemies so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling them remember when you were enemies and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you guys with his favor and what was his favor? فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ that he يعني, brought together, he reconciled what was in your hearts between one another. فأسبحتم. You've became بِنِعْمَتِهِ based on his ni'mah, by his favor upon you. Ikhwana. You became brothers. So from there we understand that when the Muslims hold together to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Quran, the Sunnah, ala fahm salaf. And they do not divide, they become by the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they became brothers. Here again, this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes the brotherhood in Islam. The Prophet sallallahu said, the parable of the believer in their affection, mercy and compassion for one and another is that of a body. When any limb of that body aches, the whole body reacts with sleeplessness and fever so subhanallah when you get sick when one part of your body is aching you feel the rest of your body struggle with it if your leg is hurting you struggle to walk the whole body is aching you struggle to do things um, when you have uh, infection your whole body is in fever um, you're, you're not able to sleep you're not able to do anything so subhanAllah, the Prophet ﷺ gave the affection and the mercy and the compassion between the Muslims as the body that is aching. So when a Muslim feels the struggle, and if the Muslim is struggling with something, the other Muslim should also feel his struggle. So meaning, if you see your Muslim brothers and sisters struggle with something, it should affect you inside. It's a sign of Iman when a person a Muslim feels the struggle and the pain of another Muslim because Muslim means are one body and they feel all of their pain so that's one example the Prophet ﷺ gave another example the Prophet ﷺ gave he said the Muslims are like a single man 
if the eye is afflicted, the whole body is afflicted. If the head is afflicted, the whole body is afflicted. Again, he used and he described the Muslim, the unity as one man. If a man is not complete, it's difficult for him to do anything. If a man is missing an arm, he's not the same as the man who has both arms. If a man is missing a leg, he's not the same as a man who has both legs. So to be complete, the Prophet ﷺ, he used the example of one body. So the Muslims, for the unity to be complete, they need to be like that of a body, completing one another in every aspect of this world and the Akhirah. So that's brotherhood in Islam.